to say thank you so much for being here at HSN and it is countdown countdown to Santa I was telling my niece Marley that she can go on Google and uh find where Santa is. I hope he's going to be coming to your home. We have an incredible today's special. We've been showing you a little bit of a sneak peek, but now it's time for a full presentation. Let's take a look. So our today's special is from our very own Kitchen HQ. This is a proprietary brand exclusive to HSN, and it couldn't be more perfect for this time of year. A four quart cast iron casserole. Sign me up. Whether there's a roast or just a big pot pie that you wanna make in this one, or whether it's soup or stews or chilies, or I mean, you can do virtually anything. I don't know how we did the price on this. I wanna just show you this. The lid itself is not only a lid, obviously, but the way that it's designed, you can actually cook in the lid, it becomes a grill pan. And then you've got that four quart. I love the, the black is always my favorite in this one because it reminds me of my grandmother's cast iron. My gra grandmother's cast iron wasn't dishwasher safe. This is dishwasher safe, I know. Cast iron, dishwasher safe. Oh my gosh, I wish my grandmother was still around to hear that. No sneeze seasoning required. It almost sounded like I said sneezing. No seasoning required, but let me go over the colors and invite you to call. Um, we have the black, we have it in the red, which I understand has been very popular today. So if you want the red, you can choose that one. Over here, we have some pretty colors. This is what we're calling a rose underneath the rose. You've got your teal choice underneath that. You have a pretty, pretty, I wanna say taupe color. I think the taupe is on the top actually. And then you have the pink. So can you see the difference? There you go. And then at the bottom, you have the silver. So taupe, teal, rose, and silver. And then over here is the blue, Markill. That's really beautiful. <laughs> That okay, nice the blue is so beautiful, only 300 remain. So let's come over and meet our expert, Mark Grill. Oh, oh my gosh. You, you know from, what, you've been from, calling me that for years. From, I'm good with it. From sneezing I'm good with it. to grill. <laughs> I think it's time for Christmas for I think me. we are. Let's have a look it's, inside. It's actually Mark Gill, everyone. <laughs> I can't I say his name. I How are you, honey? Everything. Really good. Have a look down here at what's going on. Let me remind you why we love cast iron cooking. Yes. And it is right here. Ooh. That's what you're looking at. And in, yes. uh, in the early 80s, Marlon, when we all switched over to that uh, kind of glass bottom nonstick cookware that, you know, was super easy to clean, we lost something, man. We lost that dimension of cooking that only cast iron, one of the oldest technologies in the world, period. And I mean, we're talking wheels and fire time here. This is thousands of years old. And I got to tell you, it performs as well now as it always did. But for cookware and the cooking category and this type of, uh, uh, this type of business, for me, this is the flying car. This is the first time in my life that I've been able to say that my cast iron is non-stick, dishwasher safe, <laughs> and actually goes in the sink. So let me show you what we're looking at today. Now, Marlo, you know over the past year, we've introduced our pieces to about 100,000 people here at the network, and the five-star reviews are just rolling in. People love this non-stick. And this configuration, this piece that we've got for you, by far is my favorite. Let me show you why. In its casserole configuration, which is the pot without the lid, you have a beautiful 16 cup. That's four quart capacity. So your sillies, your sillies, your, your, your contagious. Uh, sorry. Your chilies, your soups, your stews. We're gonna let that kind of render down a little bit. Now, our lid is a little bit different and that one is a little bit hot. So let me grab this one. Instead of a Dutch oven, with a lid that has those little nubs in there. You've seen that. Those are designed so they, they capture the uh, condensation and feed it back mm -hmm. down into the food when you're using it as a Dutch oven. But with ours, we went with the grill marks. We went with these incredible raised ribs. And look what this does over here. This gives you that unbelievable restaurant quality look. Now, you know, I've said this before, I'll say it again. At the end of it all, nobody's gonna fight you 
for your copper pans. Nobody in the family wants those. You know what they want? They want your cast iron. It's true. We have one family heirloom in my family, been around for more than 200 years, came over from Scotland. It's not a, a chest or a fancy this or jewelry. You know what it is? A cast iron pan. It's so pan. true. And if you want this pan, I'm inviting you to order. I'm. If you have never shopped with us for our Kitchen HQ brand, do it. There we go. Do it. This stuff is so amazing. <laughs> like, I am not even kidding you. The price on this four quart. Out of is, this world. It's, it's, I am, <laughs> I am in awe of the price. If you look online, if you have access, just check online. I sell a lot of, <laughs> I sell a lot of cookware. I've been selling cookware here at HSN for 22 years. I can tell you that even an eight inch fry pan could cost you $39. This is a four quart cast iron casserole with a lid that can be used as a grill pan and it's less than $40 and we even have it on FlexPay. It's $13.32. Just choose the color that you love, but get it at home. It nonstick, doesn't require seasoning, dishwasher safe, cast iron. Cast iron, if you can imagine. Why do we love cast iron? I always like to remind you of its amazing way to retain heat. It's oh, there's so no many other things. cookware does that. There's so many things to love about cast iron. And when you put the lid on the casserole, you've got your four-quart Dutch oven. And all of those little ribs allow the flavor and the moisture to recirculate mm, so back good, doesn't into it? the pan. And that's the whole point. The reason Dutch ovens were invented was so that people could cook meals like this without the use yes. or need for an oven. And to your point, Marlo, Beautiful. the only thing that makes this possible is the heat retention in your pan. So listen, I'm going to show you two things really special back to back here. Number one is that capacity. Listen, four quarts is 16 cups. Wow. You're feeding everybody. But as impressive as that is, and I'm going to move this to the front, come back to the pot that I just took this out of, and let me show you why we care. Let me show you why it matters. Because up until 2019, when I announced non-stick cookware, non-stick cast iron cookware, this was a nightmare. This was rubbing, scrubbing, and reseasoning with ours. And the reason for all of the five-star reviews, there's your wear and tear, there's all you have to do. Yeah. Give it a while. By the way, if that's too hard, put it in the dishwasher, right? That's the kind of thing that we're talking about, those incredible results every single time. Now, this is safe to 500 degrees, and if you're asking yourself, well, it's cast iron, shouldn't it be safe to 5,000 degrees? Well, you know what? Sure, but we've gone and we've put a paint on here for you, and we want to keep that looking beautiful. So limit to 500, which is 98% of what we cook in the oven, grill, stovetop, and you are good to go. So join me over here at the steak, and this is another part. You know, I keep saying we lost that dimension in cooking. Let me show it to you. I found it. I know where it is. It's on the bottom of the steak. There it is. That's the <laughs> dimension of cooking that we lost. When you make a cast iron pan, it's very simple. You take the sand, you pour the, the uh, cast iron in, and then you break the mold away. When you do that, you create, as individual as you are, a pattern at the bottom oh, of this. There's hills and valleys. And what it does is as the fat and sugars drip down into that hill and valley, it flashes back up and creates a sear. It creates a crust. It creates, uh, I mean, to me, an experience. So, Marla, watch this, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this out front. I'm just gonna take a pause. A lot of people love to deglaze their pans. A lot of people love to go ahead and make little sauces. Here's the problem with cast iron, right? This is where grandma like warmed up the wooden spoon. Oh, I'm gonna do it, grandma. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna put wine in the cast iron pan. Now, any other cast iron pan out there, I just literally tore the seasoning right off the bottom of that. So not only did uh, you know grandma or grandpa or mom and dad have to cook you dinner, now they gotta cook your pan, right? But not with ours. Not only does it doesn't require seasoning or you know it comes with seasoning, there's no, the, the, the word's not even in there. Seasoning's not a factor, it's not an issue. Follow me over here, I'll put a little bit more over here. The fact that you can make these creations without the wear and tear on a pan that you've had to worry about in the past, to me, is incredible. Let me get rid of the rest of that. Let me have a look here. I, I, oh, there you go. We got, you know what, we got We got to do the cleanup because that's what it's all about. And you know what, Marlo, you and I have done a lot of cooking products together. And we've always said, if something's hard to clean, who cares how good it tastes? You'll never touch it again. Watch this. You are, you're, you're seeing this. This is live. This isn't like a cut and take. This isn't, uh, it didn't work. Let's do another round and, and, and stop the tape and rewind it. That's live and it's tearing off the surface, even in between. So whether you love your steaks, your chops, your, your chickens, whether you like sauces, whether you like cooking on the stove or baking, oh cast iron's your choice and nonstick. 
This year, finally, coming into the 21st century, it's the flying car of cookware. It's non-stick cast iron. Well, it is our finest value of the day. Limited quantities, only available while supplies last. We have beautiful colors. I want to go over those colors for you once sure. again. But most importantly, I would love for you to order. Um, you're looking at more than $40 off of our regular price. This, this cast iron can get expensive. If you look at that sure. major... Um, cookware oh. store <laughs> in the mall. Go in there and price one of their cast iron pots. You could probably Google it right now. Go online and look at it. You will go come back and you'll buy this. Exactly. Um, this is while supplies last in the blue choice. And I want to show you the blue. The blue is almost sold out. So if you're interested in, isn't that the prettiest blue? I love the newer colors that we're seeing come to market in, um, in wonderful cookware. So the blue is the most limited. Um, I personally, when I'm buying Kitchen HQ, I buy the black because it's a nod back to the pan that my grandmother had. When I was <laughs> growing up, you could only buy cast iron and black. There was no such thing as right. pink and colors. teal and blue and silver and red. <laughs> it didn't exist. So I'm a little old school. I still buy the black. I know that the red is very very popular that's really beautiful if you have your kitchen accents are in red you might want to choose the red but over here we actually went for some softer colors I know that's also a newer trend so at the top we have a color that we're calling taupe underneath the taupe is the teal and then there's your pink or your rose and then we have the silver so you choose the color that you love if you're getting it on FlexPay remember with FlexPay you pay $13.32 plus shipping and tax we ship it to you immediately and then you pay over time best value we've ever offered retail compared 92 our oh, wow. price will go up to $84 <laughs> on this exact four quart casserole so it's $39.95 today, but it will be going up to $84. That is a significant difference. Buy it today. Right. You will love it. And as I was saying earlier, one of the things that's appealing about this is the size. Exactly. You know, you pulled out that pot rose, and I'm thinking, right. oh, that's such good comfort food. I know, right? So well, cold. A, I'm, I'm, I'm a bigger dude, and sometimes I stand next to a cooker, and people are like, boy, that looks awfully small. <laughs> I'm just a big guy. That is four quarts. That's 16 That's a good cups. size. And now let's talk about the other things that you can do with this pan that maybe you couldn't use as an option for your other cookware because of the way it's built. Now, listen, our... Uh, cast iron extends in the same thickness all the way up that five inch sidewall. That matters. That means that you're cooking the same up there as you are down there. And because it holds that heat, baking and cooking and frying all becomes mm. easier. So I'm gonna make for you one of the hottest trending dishes in the country right, right now, one of my favorites. They're opening up Nashville hot chicken restaurants all over the place. And listen, for good reason, you gotta try this when you get home. You're gonna double fry your chicken, okay? That means frying it twice. You're gonna put it in there one time, take it out, let it cool down and then put it back in. And listen, that, that is just the crispiest, crustiest fried chicken you've ever had. Now, when you make your flour dreads for this, Marlo, you're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. And there's a reason for that, a little bit of heat, right? But that's not what gives the, 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 the chicken the heat. That's what gives the oil the heat because okay. we're gonna make a glaze, all right? We're gonna take one ladle of the oil that we've been cooking this chicken in, which has a nice cayenne spice to it, and we're gonna add it to more cayenne, brown sugar, chili oil. We've got uh, some other herbs and spices in there, and I want you to watch this now. Here is what $13.95 looks like in some of the best restaurants that are opening right now up in Tampa Bay and Clearwater and all over the country wow. with this Nashville hot chicken. And when you bite into that, there's a snap and a tang to that dish. The only part I hate is the bill. So when I can do this myself at home, the exact way they're doing it there, I'm good with it. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I can't wait to try that. Now let's have a look here. This is so fun. Do you ever think in your life you'd see caramel and cast iron? Now I'm just gonna do something. Have a look right here. See where my finger is? Watch this. That's impossible. That can't happen. You cannot tear caramel away from a cast iron pan, Marlo. It just, is, I mean, it's one of those things. You can't do it. But with the technology the way it is, now you've got the option of dishes you never thought of before. You never, you know, you never thought this to try incredible. before. And candied apples come Halloween, or we do some special little uh, Christmas decorations. It's such a fun way to entertain course, the kids. And isn't course. that cool? Look at how yes. pretty and fun that is. And because this holds the temperature the way it does, I can let the caramel go all day long. So have a good time. Try recipes you've never tried before and experience a type of cooking that grandma knew about, but then well, we listen. went and switched. I know we, you and I talk about this all the time. 
Um, and I bet if I talk to you personally, you probably have your own stories. Cast iron pans were around because not only did they hold the heat, they made some of the best foods. I, I always <laughs> tell Mark about my, my grandmother uh -huh. made the best fried chicken in Love her it. cast iron pan. And my grandmother made the best, the best <laughs> cornbread. Oh, like, yeah. I could taste it to this day. And there was something about that black cast iron pan. And it was the retention of the heat. Even today, when you get a chance, and many of you know the chefs because they're right here live and you've been shopping with them, they will tell you there's nothing that compares to a cast iron pan. What we've done, by the way, is we've made it even better. By the way, 8,000 of you have ordered. It's our today's special. Remember, that price is gonna be going up to $84.95. And it is not hard to find cast iron pans out there for that price. Absolutely it not. Is not. So you wanna be able to grab yours today at this incredible price of $39.95 or $13.32. Recreate the magic that you grew up with. That's <laughs> why I, from day one when we launched Kitchen HQ, I started buying these pots and pans. No seasoning, sign me up. Nonstick, yep, I love it. Dishwasher safe, of course I want it. <laughs> and the quality, do they have the substantial feel of a, of a regular cast Absolutely. iron? They do, they do. I'll be honest with you, they're not the most lightweight pans, <laughs> but they <laughs> are magic every single time and that's what you're gonna love. The that's clean up, cleanup. The cleanup is chili. a cinch, you know? <laughs> that was a pot of chili. But the amount of food you know, I like this size. Absolutely. Because I feel like a four quart is oversized mm -hmm. for an average family of two or three. Sure. You know, sure, sure, sure. you've got your six quarts and eight quarts, and those are a oh, great you size. 16 cups. Yes. You've got but 10 to 14 servings in everything that you This cook, is a no really <laughs> great size. And this was genius. This is what the I like. The lid turns into a, a grill pan. Exactly. Now, I want to show you something here, okay? This is actually really cool. Look at how even this cooks. Those grill marks are perfect everywhere. So you know what? Add a little zest, add a little pizzazz to the dishes that you do. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of color in there just like that. And again, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do that little cardinal cast iron sin here. I'm going to grab a little bit of red wine. Uh-oh, he's doing it again. Somebody in our family <laughs> likes red wine. Well, yeah, whatever's His name might be Mark. Home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Somebody a likes a little red wine. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Love. You know what, Marla? You and I have been cooking together since oh my gosh, how 2006. Long? And we've just be been kidding. having such a good time we with have. everything we're cooking. No, so every time. Let me leave this alone. You know what? Uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun here with a couple of different dishes that I really love to do. Because, again, it's about variety. It's about doing different things. It's about that whole uh, cooking experience. So follow me back to the oven here, okay? Cast iron originally was designed as a cauldron, big one, that mm. sat beside a fire. That's why it's so good around high heat. So what we did when we invented stoves is we chopped those four legs off and we created pans, all right? So that's where your cast iron cookware comes from. But you retain that old world, unbelievable heat technology and incredible distribution of heat. So watch this. You want to have some fun next Christmas? Try a Dutch baby for oh. a breakfast. So have a look here. I'd love to clean the inside of this pan, but I can't because there's nothing there. All right. But you want to see perfect? That's perfect. That's beautiful. That's perfect baking. That's yes. the perfect bottom. Are you kidding me with this? So now all you're going to do, take a little bit of fresh fruit, fill in those nooks and crannies just like that. And then we're going to grab a little bit of syrup. Icing sugar is fun with this one as well. And let's just create some morning Christmas memories. Maybe this is fun definitely. for the birthday. Isn't that beautiful? Definitely, definitely. Ah, me I'm so happy that you. <laughs> I'm so happy that you love this pan um, because to me, all of Kitchen HQ. Um, all of their pans are incredible. The, the price on this one is an exceptional price. Kitchen HQ is not the most inexpensive cookware that we offer, but it's one of the very best. Absolutely. Because it offers to you that cast iron that you know and love, just nonstick, dishwasher safe, and requires no seasoning. If you've never tried it before, um, do it. Try this pan, read the reviews. We already have reviews on this particular four quart. I'm thrilled that we were able to offer it to you. Uh, there you go. <laughs> As of today's special, um, but perfect five stars. It's, it's just a great size. Chili, soup, stews, pot roast if you're, if you're doing that as well. What did Look you we make did. here? I took a 99 cent burrito, 
85 cents worth of cheese and sprinkled some salsa poorly. <laughs> and we have a beautiful restaurant quality 1395 dish that was made with cheese burnt in the bottom of the pan. If I could describe, uh, describe how good this looks, holy moly. And here's the thing again, this is what's important. I, you know, the bosses are watching and I'd love to clean out this pan, but I can't. <laughs> there's nothing there. You don't have to. They're always like, make sure you do a cleanup. Make sure you do the cleanup. I'd love to do the cleanup if I had something to clean up. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you. So guys, have a look at this, all right? Remember, you've got your Dutch oven, your four quart, all right? That's this guy, your choice of colors. This is great for your soups, your stews. The inside is nonstick, super easy to clean. The lid that we're gonna use is that ribbed lid. So you've got those great grill marks, even when you're making fajitas. If you ever go to like a, a, a Spanish restaurant or whatever you order fajitas, and the meat, whether it's beef or chicken, comes back like this, you're like, oh, they cared enough to cook this on a grill plate. Are you kidding me with this? So let's go ahead and add a few veggies. And, and between... I'm gonna, as you do that, Mark, and I apologize, Please, I wanna yeah. chime in for a moment. In the blue color, only 150 remain. So I do wanna encourage you, if you're interested in the blue at all, um, and you know what's funny? The blue looks like the Lapis J King necklace that I'm wearing. It really does, I just looked at that. <laughs> um, if you want that blue color, you definitely wanna be in the ordering process. We have tote, teal, rose, silver, blue, red, and black. So those are all the colors. You're more than welcome to use any major credit card. Get this at home on the first flex pay of $13.32 plus shipping and tax. Um, but remarkable. If you're a great cook, buy it. If you're a not so great cook, buy it. It's gonna make you a better cook. <laughs> if you know all about cast iron, I am telling you, this is a dream come true. Get Kitchen HQ. I'm a foodie, I'm a cook. I can, I can vouch for this. This is amazing, amazing cookware. And we love a great value. Who isn't looking for savings and sales? It's our today's special. High heat, doesn't matter what type of stove. I think that's worth... Gas, glass, yeah. electric, or induction yeah. makes no difference. And that's important, Ooh, you know, to ever. know People that. have such a wide range of cooktops now. Yes. You don't want to limit yourself on the type of cooking you can do. So we just got that on the plate here. I'm going to do take one second and pour out kind of the... the I was going to say, you're going to pour there. more wine? Uh, no, I think we're good for <laughs> wine. But I kept pouring that in there, Marlo, because again, I need to drive this point home. So let's go ahead and just kind of... We'll drizzle a little bit is there. That's a, you want flavor. You see what's dripping down there? That's that reduced red wine with the sugars and the garlic. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is a little bit of heaven right there. I'm going to set that right there. Now, Marlo, again, I made a point to burn this on. That's a nightmare. Did a pretty good job. This, this is bad stuff. All right, but I want you to watch this. All you're going to do is just give it a scrub. Give it a rub. Even the burnt on. I mean, look at that. It's coming right off with a cloth. That's incredible. So now all you're going to do is pop it in the dishwasher or soak it in the sink. You don't have to re-season it. You don't have to babysit it. You don't have to care for it. Our cast iron and all of the four and five star reviews from the 100,000 people that we've introduced our cookware to over this past year are absolutely stunning to read. Well, I think you're going to love it. I want to say thank you so much and congratulations to those of you who've ordered it. We are going to wrap up our presentation, but keep those phone calls coming. Mark, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you in three seconds. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we got bags to seal. We do. We do. Let's go over there and do it. <laughs> I forgot I that you were it. doing that. I'll meet you over there. All right, honey. <laughs> love it, love it, love Ooh. it. Ooh. How many of you know somebody who likes wine? White wine, red wine, doesn't matter. If there's a wine lover in your family, look at what we have. We actually have what's called the perfect wine opener. So it's a six piece gift set. It actually comes with the wine bag. You actually get the opener that will open up all of the paper. There is the wine opener. You know what's great about this? No batteries required. You can literally take that with you on the go. They give you the stopper so that if you don't finish, well actually, that's a way to be able to the aerate your wine that comes along with it. And then there, of course, once you're done with the wine, if you don't finish the whole bottle, which probably rarely happens, um, you're able to seal in the freshness. So it's an entire kit. It even comes with a gift bag and it's $12.47 great for the wine lover in your family. So we love Dimitri James. There's no one else like him in the industry. He brings to us skin cosmetics. He's coming back to HSN. Here's a sneak peek.
we understand every woman's skin is unique. We offer real beauty solutions for individual needs of real women, empowering women to achieve healthy, radiant looking skin. Backed by over 30 years experience, made from important ingredients combined with advanced science for affordable skincare that truly works. Change the story of your skin and your life forever. Genuine beauty begins with skin. Tis the season to be a VIP. Apply for the HSN card and instantly get $20 off when you're approved. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get the best deals on holiday shopping. Enjoy extra flex on beauty, fashion, and jewelry gifts all the time. And 12-month VIP financing on electronics, toys, and home items, $3.99 and up. Plus exclusive VIP offers. And there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash HSN card. So I want to say Merry Christmas to all of you. And if you're celebrating Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. Thank you so much for being here at HSN. My name is Marlo Smith. And the gentleman to my right who's holding the bag is the one and only Mark Gill. Hello. So Mark is joining us as we feature for you a great way to seal in the freshness. This is called the Smart Sealer. Yes, it is. They're battery-operated storage bag sealers. And did you see what happened? <laughs> Well, you got to show that to us I once love again. That. We'll do that so, a little bit later in the presentation so I, for sure. I think as we're on the heels of a new year, one of the things that we always think about is how can we save money, right? You know what? Food's a good place to start. Oh, we, yes. Uh, we it's have more, ex to buy it. more expensive than ever, though. So you want to be able to seal in the freshness. This is the perfect product to do it. Exactly. Listen, food manufacturers spend a fortune in R&D on the best way to keep their foods packaged because it's got to sit on a store shelf for a while. So what do we do? We get home and like fools, we open it, all right? And that's when it happens. The bugs, the, the air, the moisture. So listen, we can do a couple of things. We can chip clip it, we can go ahead and spin it around, or we can take our smart sealer, and I'm actually glad this happened because I want you to see something. And all you're gonna do is run this right across, and I'm doing this crooked just to prove a point. It doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be perfect. Smart Sealer gives you the original manufacturer seal on a bag, even if you're like one of the kids and you open it up poorly, you can go ahead and with complete control reseal that bag. And let me tell you why that's important. The biggest enemy to food is, is moisture. And when you live in Florida, let me tell you something. When you open up this box of cereal, you have 17 minutes to finish it. So when I watch my teenagers go ahead and empty out one bowl and do this and head off to school, I gotta tell you, I'm looking at it going, man, I wish there was a way that we could keep this fast, easy, and fresh. And there really is. And that's what the Smart Sealer is gonna do for you. It's got a clamshell design. There's an on-off button right there that's automatic. You don't even worry about it. And a little bit of grade one science class, a little bit of positive plus a little bit of negative, when they touch is a little bit of heat. And all you're gonna do is let this warm up for three seconds and just run that across the lip of the bag. Now, notice I'm using the bag that this came in. You are not married to my company forever. You don't have to find my bags, buy my bags, size my bags. You paid for a bag, use it. <laughs> I wanna go over the colors for you and invite you to order one of the things that we haven't mentioned to you is that you're getting two of these. Uh -huh. They are battery operated. We even include the batteries. The batteries are four AA batteries, but they're all included. So the question is, what color would you like? Or you can choose the set of two in green, the set of two in the navy blue, the set of two in the aqua, the set of two in red, the set of two in the black, and the set of two in the gray. The batteries come with it. And then you see the bags down below. You're actually going to receive 20 food grade bags to go along with it. Clearance price, this is half off, $6.30. I, I, I'm convinced that we all love the idea of a food sealer. Most of the ones that we see are big. They're, 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 they're large, they're on the counter. You've gotta buy special bags for it. You've gotta have you gotta special- You gotta give up space for it. I was gonna say, you've gotta have a special space for them. Most of us don't have that. So we look at this and we're thinking, wait a minute. This has a magnet too. Exactly. And it's grab and go. It's, it's far more impractical <laughs> and obviously. The magnet's great because yeah. I mean, what good is the best kitchen gadget you have if you can't find it? And the fact that you have two means that you can keep one in the camper, the RV, you can bring one to work. Listen, when you go to that little snack machine at work, you know, work for that little munchie, 
Look at the back of the package. That's probably three servings. You're down to that at your desk. I know you are. So now you can seal up what's left without it going bad. So let's talk for a second about freezers. Every single time you open and close a freezer, you exchange hot air for cold. That makes tiny little snowballs and freezer burn in your freezer. You don't have to worry about with this. So here's what you're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to open this up, which I probably should have done before the show. It's much prettier. I'm going to take out a nice light breakfast for me. <laughs> that ought to do it. And now, what you end up left with is this guy. And again, we spin it, we fold it, we yes. staple gun it. Whatever it is you're doing isn't working because when you go back to it, it's no good. So watch this. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. There's your learning curve. That's your manual. And then all you're going to do is pick a spot and just run this across. And doesn't have to before, be perfect. Doesn't have to be pretty. Doesn't have to be straight either. It just has to be sealed. Now when I go back for my second breakfast, my waffles never last too long, yeah. this is gonna be fresh. No, and I love so that. It's so important. We've all thrown away the box cereal, maybe the cookies that have gone stale. Look what happened. Yeah. Oh no. That, that's <laughs> like, happened, right? It happens all the time sure because does. we leave stuff like this open in yes. the garage sometimes because we forget that our pets and our plants love fresh that's food true. as much as we do. That's why when you go out there sometimes you find a whole bunch of little animals running around you didn't name. Right? You wanna make sure that you can keep them out out of this and even if you've got a wonky cut on your bag just go ahead and work the sealer around it now this works on thick bags thin bags foil line bags all you do is you, if you have a thicker one is just slow it down and again look at this there's no Perfect. battery I'm sorry there's no learning curve there's no space on the counter and now when I spill it nothing happens because I've even tried the little twisty tie things oh but yeah yeah even with that the air gets the in air gets in you know where else air gets in these guys, yeah. that's a huge culprit. <laughs> Let me tell you something, all right? How much stale bread have you thrown out over your lifetime? In fact, how many times have you gone into the cupboard of the pantry and done that thing, you know the thing, where you look for all the food and you check it and you sniff it and you squeeze it and all that kind of stuff and then you're horrified at how much you throw out. And you know what, you just have to give it a thought, whether it's the cheese, the salad, the bread, whether it's maybe a, a trail mix or some candy, it doesn't matter at all. If you were able to keep the air away from it, how much longer would you have kept that food? How much longer would that bread have stayed wow. on? And how much more money is in your pocket rather than in the garbage simply because you're taking one small step with the coolest gadget ever that doesn't need any sort of space, learning curve, ongoing purchases with bags, anything. Three seconds, it's ready, and you're saving a little bit of food. Choose the color that you love. Don't forget, we include for you 20 of the food grade bags. We have six great colors to select from. Green, red, we have the black, the blue, the aqua, and then we also have the gray. You don't have to buy the batteries. They're also included. That makes it portable, ready to grab and go. And this is something I can imagine you might be able to use in your kitchen really every day. You're opening up something every day, exactly. right? Exactly. And so this is an opportunity for you to be able to have a very convenient, a very simple, a very easy, fast, space-saving. I mean, most most sealers out there are these big contraptions that, you know, require a lot of counter space, <laughs> require specialty bags. So, you, some, some of you actually have to take a day, set a day aside to be able to kind of seal all of your foods. Exactly. And while that might work for some, most of us just don't have the time um, or the patience. You just really want something that's going to work fast just and easy. Just fast, do it. Fast and easy is <laughs> what we want. I about it. Just do right. it. Now, have a look here. This is cool. When I moved from Canada down to here, you know, one of the things I never thought of was rice and beans and legumes, right? And making sure that those are all fresh and away from the air because you don't think about it. The problem here is... Here in Florida, we get those little bugs if you don't. Leave them out too long. All of a sudden, <laughs> there's like, what are those? <laughs> I don't remember putting in any rice that moves. <laughs> Again, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. And there's a reason that Marlo and I, I mean, I think exclusively us, have sold, I don't know, tens of thousands of these over the years that you mean we've been to playing me together. You mean the 30-something minute presentation we uh, had The 30-minute presentation <laughs> we had once. So here, guys, have a look. That's what we're talking about. Now I don't have to worry about those little bugs. I don't have to worry about this being stale. Uh, oh, here's a good one. I love this one. Listen, oh, we yeah, all try and save. Oh, that's a great one. Right? We all try and save a couple of bucks by eating at home rather than going out to the fancy-dancy restaurants. But I got to tell you, if you take one salad out of this and then find it a week later in the fridge all brown, next time, find the most expensive expensive restaurant in town and head on there because it would have been cheaper all right one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand you've got a lot of have you ever have bag. you ever did this 
fold, put a fold, and then tried to put a clip on it. That doesn't work. Or, <laughs> right? That or doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, and this, no. And this is especially is something that air well, is definitely the enemy. You've got to keep the air out. You can fold, you can twist, you can do whatever you want. You're still leaving room for air until you take the heat that's caused by the positive and the negative sides touching together and recreate that original manufacturer's seal and ensuring that the air that's in there touching the food is an exchange with the air that's on the outside and all the fresh goodies that that brings along with it, you know that you're gonna keep this around just a yeah. tiny bit longer. And that little bit longer, add that up over the course of the year, what we've got this on for, and the fact that you get two of them the batteries in the bags. Good point, Mark. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You get to, it's, it's saving, right? I, we've all thrown away food that's gone bad or that has been stale. We've all done it. And so how do we find a solution to the problem of being able to keep our foods fresh? Uh, locking, out the, locking out the moisture and trying to take out as much air as possible. We know this, you've got to be able to seal it. And the idea of this portable battery operated storage bag sealer two pack is so smart. We've got 20 seconds remaining in the presentation. Shop now. This is Mark's final It is. So final tell you presentation. what, I'm going to take my last 16 seconds here before Christmas. You know what? Everybody knows what that does. It's fantastic. From the bottom of my heart, all of our friends at HSN, all of my family here, I really Aww. want everybody to have a lovely Christmas. Raise a glass to everybody that you love and miss this season and just be together. Food, family, fun. That's what it's all about. And we'll see you after Christmas, you after guys. After Christmas. I love it. Merry Christmas, Merry sweetheart. Merry Christmas to you. All right, everybody, please continue to shop. We're continuing in the kitchen with our big semi-annual sale. Don't forget, our big promotion is spend $75 or more and get free shipping and handling. Mark brought to us a, a great today's special that I hope you buy. Our Kitchen HQ non-stick cast iron casserole, all in a four-quart deep base. The lid is a big part of this because the lid is not only a lid, it actually converts to a grill. What's great about this cast iron? Non-stick, dishwasher safe. I know, I know. And oh, did I see? It doesn't require any seasoning. If you want the blue, we're down to 80. 8-0 for the blue, but we have the black, we have red, we have taupe, rose, and silver all available for you. Thank you so much for being here at HSN. Happy holidays to you. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and it is countdown time. I understand Santa is on his way. Oh. It's time. So hopefully you've been nice and not <laughs> naughty, and Santa will stop by your house and bring you some goodies. Yeah. In the meantime, please allow us to be able to keep you company because we also have another expert, Carrie Maletto, is joining us with our Kitchen HQ Hi, two pack of our strainer serving bowls with the colander lids. Nice to have you back. Thanks, nice so, to be here. This is great, we have two colors, plum and teal. That's right, the red is gone. So um, these are the coolest thing, and you've kind of seen me just kind of moving them around and kind of, they're very innovative. These are strainer bowls, but they serve three different purposes. They're prep bowls, they can strain, and they can also serve. So I'm always looking for extra serving bowls in the kitchen, because you know, the more you prepare, the more things you do, bowls are great. So in this position, it is a serving bowl. You're getting both, by the way. So this is an eight cup bowl, this is a 16 cup bowl. When they're in the bowl position, they have little feet at the bottom, so it actually stands them up. So if you do have something hot in here, it acts like a trivet and keeps it up off the table. But here's where it gets really cool. The sides go up, and now it looks like some kind of aquatic spaceship or something. <laughs> but what it actually is, is we've now in eight the straining feature. So if there was something wet it, you know, in the bottom, I would take it, turn it around and shake it, I like strain that. it. And then when I'm done, I just push it right back again. And now it goes straight to the table. How cool is that? That is smart. <laughs> very, very cool. So let's cool. see it in action. Okay, let's do it. So if you were doing, I mean, for me, I use mostly my fruits and vegetables. I mean, that's really how I'm gonna do this. You're gonna put your water inside. Once you put enough water into the bowl, you're gonna take it around with like this, pop it just like that, turn it over, press in. Awesome. So you see me pressing in, and you see how it's taking all that water out. And this is how I get a little cardiovascular exercise when I'm doing <laughs> everything too, because I'm trying to eat healthier, right? So now I flip it over, I shake it. It makes me laugh every time I do it, by the way. And then you come back down, and when you do this, notice the serving bowl is the part that had the water in it. The straining I happened here. That. So that disappears underneath and it goes straight to the table. Brilliant. Here's what I love about it. She didn't lose a grape. No, I didn't. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And look at all the dirty stuff.
stuff is in the sink, right? right? So all the stuff you don't want on your fruit and vegetables. Because if you try to do that in the traditional way, even if you oh, yeah. were good, sometimes I'm at home and I'm trying oh, to like right? pour off, like inevitably one, <laughs> one, one or out. two will get away. It's right? always a panic. So there you're like, like, oh, there it goes. Right? So see, that doesn't happen with this. Yes. So that is that innovative thinking. So here, if you just hang out here one second, I'm going to grab my pasta now because now let's take it to something hot. So now I maybe just got my pasta right off the stove. I pour it into the bowl. I take the bowl to the sink. Again, I reveal the straining portion. Remember, keep it nice and tight. Look what's happening. It's really doing the job and it's making sure to get all that water off your pasta. By the way, you never really want to rinse your pasta after because you want to keep a little bit of that um, uh, on there so that it's going to help the uh, sauce stick. That's why the, always when you go to the restaurants, it's really, really yummy. So here, we're going to do that. We make sure all the water's gone. We pop it just like this. And now we're going to come over here and do some prep work. So now we can take our pasta right over to the table, put our sauce. So maybe this is our hot sauce or what have you. We're going to pour it right on. We're going to put some of our Parmesan on there. Maybe I had some fresh basil or, you know, some pe fresh pepper, what have you. But this can go now right to the table. That's so where it goes easy, serving. so convenient. Um, we're, we're certainly encouraging you to shop and place your orders. I really love the idea of this. I do. Uh, the fact that you can close it up, Yep. Strain the water and that nothing comes out or gets loose, I think it's brilliant. Your choices are teal and purple or teal and plum is what we're calling in the system. We sold these at $21.95, they're $14.95 and they're available on FlexPay. Perfect. I do want to remind you that everything that we're offering to you today still qualifies for our holiday return policy. I imagine a lot of you right now are cooking. Oh yeah. A lot of you are right now in the kitchen, Boom. cooking along with us and watching us. Um, and I hope that you're having fun. Typically I would be home cooking too. I'm probably gonna do a little cooking a little bit later yeah, on. Yeah, me too. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm not going <laughs> way out like I did for Thanksgiving. But it's just fun. I mean, that's what that's what this time of year is all about. It's and true. especially the holidays, right? Cooking yep. and memories and having the people that you love around you. And so as you're you're washing today, especially for those of you that are cooking now, you probably are watching the show saying, I could I could really use something this would be like really that. Useful. <laughs> right? So I like it because it does several things, and forgive me, we're just gonna keep walking back and no, forth. I don't mind I know at we all. only have a short amount of time. But you know, strawberries, you know, when strawberries are in season or whatever, you know, fruit is in season at the time, how nice to be able to go get it fresh, pop it in here. Now, this is where I'm gonna tell you something. Once you look at this coming off of this, look at all the dirt. Okay, that's why you always want to rinse your vegetables, by the way. And you don't want to keep them in that package that they came in, because that package is just as dirty as anything else. So when you place it in here, you're actually gonna get it nice and clean and then you're gonna be able to pop it in here. Now what I would do after this, I know that this has been rinsed and uh, I could pop it right into the refrigerator. So I'm gonna close it like this oh, yeah. and now use it as a storage container. So that tells me once it's in my fridge like this, I have already strained it and cleaned it and this is fresh fruit for me to be able to eat. So maybe I got the big one with the grapes and I got the little one with the strawberries and that's right there in the fridge and whenever I just wanna snack on that, I just do this and pop it out. Perfect. It's so cool. Perfect. Well, we're going to be wrapping up our presentation up on this. Um, if you're looking for a more clever ideas like this, don't forget to check out our website at hsn.com. I know the other day um, when I kicked off our big semi-annual clearance, they told me they were like over 4,500 products on clearance. Yes, that's a lot. And once you spend $75 or more, you get free shipping and handling. I'm just saying, that can turn out really well. Yeah. <laughs> if you, there's something that you've been eyeing. We are heading on the other side of the studio. Okay. But before we do, oh my gosh, wine. We were just talking about going out for drinks. <laughs> you know? Well, there you have it. So. Maybe you can what come over to my house. Oh, the wine opener, yeah. So, so here's what we have. This is a wine opener. It makes you look like a pro because everything that you need to open your wine is in the wine bag. So it comes with a decorative wine bag. It comes with a little kind of folder to keep all the tools. What's inside, the opener for your, uh, for your wine, the wine opener itself, there's your aerator that comes along with it. And then if you don't finish the bottle of wine, they actually give you a wonderful seal. To Everything seal right in there. the freshness. Yeah. If you'd like to have it, we sold out all the colors with the exception of the red choice, but that's so great. And I love that it's portable. Because how many times yeah. are you on the go, you're in a hotel, or you're going to an outdoor concert where you might be able to bring wine that you- When you come over to my house. Okay. Okay. I'm coming, I'll bring the wine too. You heard her. Red or white. <laughs> you heard her. Red or white, that. girl, red or white. Uh, red. I like red too. Yeah. All right, today? Definitely a red. Okay, we are coming back. <laughs> oh, you've got to see the cutest pressure cooker. We're going to be sharing that with you coming up.
love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart. Well, we are so delighted to have you shopping with us. Can you believe it? It is Christmas Eve. Yay. My name is Marlo. Happy holidays to you, and thank you so much for spending some time with us. Here's what we've been up to all day. It's been our big kitchen clearance event, and we've been having so much fun with you. Get social with us. Stop in to say hi. We're just offering to you wonderful products that are all on sale. With our promotion, $75 or more if you're spending, you'll get free shipping and handling. Right now, we're going to offer to you a pressure cooker that's also a slow cooker that's also a warmer that's the perfect size and that's what makes this so appealing most pressure cookers that you're seeing on the market are six quart eight quart I've even seen them as large as ten quart mm -hmm. this is two quarts Perfect. Perfect for the family of two or four. It's ideal because it's a rice cooker, so if you like quinoa or brown rice, mm -hmm. or if you love your steel coat, still cut oatmeals that you're gonna be preparing, mm -hmm. it, Perfect. it can do it all, but the scale and the size of this pressure cooker is ideal for your countertops. Check out our price, it's $29.98. So it's what you would pay for a pot in most stores, <laughs> but it's a pressure cooker, slow cooker, warmer, and more. And you get this today on Flex Space. So it's $14.99. Carrie is here. This is her final, final product that you're going to be offering before it's almost time for you to get on a plane and That's go home true. for Christmas. It's coming. But I love what you started here Thank because you. I think this is a great example of how much food can actually, you can actually cook in a two-quart pressure. That's right. right. I know. Because it seems like, okay, well, it's just a small amount. It's really not. No, it's really not. And it all depends on what you're cooking, right? So if you're doing something that's an all-in-one meal, you're going to get plenty for about two people, sometimes up to three. If you're talking about just doing like a pork like we did here, this pork is a three-pound pork that we oh, put wow. in here. So I just did three sliders. I did all this meat for my nachos and I still have a whole bunch left inside of here. So that's just letting you see how far it really yeah. can go. So if you're that's tailgating great. or having a party or something like that, you're gonna have plenty of meat here. And what I love about this is notice the lid is hinged on the top. A lot of pressure cookers don't have that feature. So when you take your lid off, you do the dance, the where does it go dance. Yes. You're kind of like, where does it go? Where does it go? And meanwhile, the water's like going all over the place. I love that this just hinges right here. So for party purposes, and if you wanted to put this out so people could help themselves, it just stays right there. It does come off as well if you really want it to. And we'll do that on a couple that we You know show what else off. this is great for, Carrie? Yeah. How many of you have said, okay, I really want to buy a pressure cooker. Like, I really, like, maybe you don't own one, but you've heard that they're fantastic and you really want to buy one. Sure. But you don't want to spend $150 for a pressure cooker. And you don't want a humongous one because where are you going to put it? Sure. You want to take baby steps, right? This is perfect. Price, size, features. I don't think you can get better than this. I hope that you'll come on in. What do you have here? It smells so, really good. And you know what? I love that you said that. You know, a lot of times I had a friend of mine say, it's only $29? Really? Like, can it be a good pressure cooker? Like, and maybe that's something that may be in your mind a little bit. Let me tell you something. This pressure cooker does everything that an eight quart pressure cooker, six quart pressure cooker would do. It has all the functions. I'm gonna show you in just a minute. But what I love is it does get you introduced to pressure cooking in a way that's not overwhelming. This was my first pressure cooker that I actually owned. So I'm telling you, I was kind of holding off on the whole pressure cooking thing. Can I tell you if you were in my house in the last two weeks I have done nothing but use the pressure cooker and I do have a bigger one now because I recognize I said you know what cool I can have this I do this for side dishes or when it's just me and my husband when I want to make really large feasts that's when I can use the bigger one so if you're out there and you own an eight quart or something like that you might be like my friend Kate who was telling me she likes to make her dog food fresh for her dogs um so she was saying she was bringing out that eight quart pressure cooker oh my and it was gosh, way she just made too me, big yeah she made me feel bad though because I'm thinking oh my gosh 
I need to make food for my dogs. I, no. need, to make, <laughs> I need to make food for my dog. <laughs> she just loves her pups. But you know, I mean, she had a point. She only needed the two quart. That was going to be plenty for her to accomplish what she needed to accomplish. I actually want to use this guy over here because it's much easier. But look at all this macaroni and cheese that I just did. Now, you want to talk about comfort food. Macaroni and cheese at this time of year is the ideal comfort food. This is a ginormous bowl that I am going to fill, and we're still going to have tons of mac and cheese left over after that. Now, this is a 2 2 2 recipe, which means two cups of broth, two cups of noodles, and two cups of cheese. Look at this. And cream. Okay, what is <laughs> happening? And I'm gonna go back over here to my pork because why the heck not? Because that, it really signifies comfort food to oh, me. Oh yeah, that, you'll take a nap after you eat that. Mm. <laughs> That's gonna t totally put you in a carb, oh, just carb for, coma. <laughs> just for the sake of sake. Okay, look at that, unbelievable. So now, the way that um, I did the mac and cheese, it was six minutes, you guys. This is cooking 66% faster. That's why you hear all this talk and it's very trendy right now, yes. like the pressure cookers, because it saves you time and it makes things easier. So all you do is load and push a button. If you'd like to have it, let's talk about the pretty colors you can choose from, okay? Sure. So Carrie was working out of the red. It's red. This is actually blue, but if you look closely, it looks more purple. So let's just, for the sake of it, call it a bluish purple. Yeah. But in our system, we're calling it blue. Okay. This is our either taupe or rose gold. Let me get my cheat sheet. We're calling this, this one. the taupe, taupe. I Taupe. Mm -hmm. Here's our teal. And we have black. Looks like the taupe is sold out, okay? Because I believe those are the same colors. Those are different, actually. Are they? Slightly so, different. So rose taupe has, and then rose on this end. Rose has just like a, a more subtle, yeah. little yeah. more pinkish hue, I yeah. guess. Yeah, so you here's say. your rose mm -hmm. on this end. Yeah. Oh, the rose is sold out. Oh, oh I apologize. Gone. I apologize there. Okay, then never mind okay. the rose. And <laughs> since I have your attention, so you, isn't it cute? It's the most adorable pressure cooker. It really is. And so easy to use. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But you're going to get, of course, the insert. You'll get the spoon and then you get the measure cup along with it. Sold separately, if you'd like to have it, we do have these little baskets. Yeah. So please ask about them. They're a separate purchase, but everything in the front, you're getting. Yep. This is a perfect $30 purchase for potluck at work mm -hmm. or to take at the next book club that you're getting to for that young person that has their first apartment whether it's a bachelor or a bachelorette or a new couple right this is the ideal size and this will give you a chance to grow into an eight quart pressure cooker if that's what you want going forward but for those of you that have a family of one or a family of two this is really it's absolutely the best purchase if you want it let us know just choose the color that you love i'd like to hear from you as well you know many of you have pressure cookers at home so you understand when when carrie talks about the fact that pressure cookers cook your foods in a third of the time yeah here's something else that you want to know about pressure cookers is that they naturally tenderize your meat yeah so if you buy like some of the most inexpensive cuts of meats like the the thickest, toughest cuts of meats, they hermetically seal in the moisture and so they naturally tenderize your meats and they're always tender. Yes. That's why whether it's barbecue, yep. real ribs, they fall off the bone. You cannot Even mess it up. Even artichokes, you can cook in a pressure cooker. Beans, if you love, I don't love a good bean soup. You don't have to necessarily soak your beans overnight. Like, they are absolutely terrific to own, and I like the size of this for you to be able yeah. to get into pressure cooking. And the price, of course, is terrific today. It's about six pounds. Okay, so I'm gonna come over to this one and before okay. I show you, this is my apple cider. So this is like ah. if you just wanna do like for the party, you wanna have some nice hot, you know, this is the time of year in January. It's about ready to get real cold everywhere. So look at this, Ooh. nice and steamy and hot. I wanna come to the front really quick. So before I pour this out, I just wanna show you guys how easy this is to use. I'm gonna hit stop. I'm gonna come over here to my menu. We have high pressure, low pressure. We have our keep warm function, which will do eight hours of keeping something warm. That's great for your party people out there. So if you wanna do like a, a dip or you wanna do this apple cider or something like that, it'll just stay nice and warm. The slow cook, this is a slow cooker as well as it is a pressure cooker. So if you wanna do something over time, you can. We also have the searing or browning function. Any meat, like a thawed meat that you put in here, sear it first. That's gonna caramelize the outside of the meat. It's gonna help it be even more delicious and bring out those 
flavors for you. Chili stew button, our egg button, and then we have our rice button. So this does the most amazing rice, but it also does eggs in six okay. minutes. That's what I thought. I'm like, eggs? Eggs in six minutes, hard boiled. So you don't have to watch them over the stove. There's nothing you have to do crazy. It cooks that's them. Great. That's where the basket's really good, by the way, because that's a steamer basket. So you can put your eggs in there and then you just pull them right out. It's super simple. That's perfect. Here's something else. You'd be very surprised with how many desserts you can make in a pressure cooker. Yes, you can. You can bake cakes in a pressure cooker. Flan, flan if you're making flan. I mean, cheesecake. Che it's, it's really surprising. They are so versatile and so unique. I think you'll love it, but that's pretty. Isn't that with beautiful? With the cranberries, and really look at, pretty. This is the real perfect finish. Boom. Yeah. So imagine having that when people come over and it's cold in January, you'll be able to just yes. do that nice apple cider and heat it up so and keep nice. it hot. Um, but this is really great for stews. I've been using the heck out of mine. This is the time of year when I do stew, stew, stew. So here, this can actually come off. So I want to show you how it does come off. And then when you're cleaning, your ring just comes right off. This just pops right off. The ring is what you want to take care of. So just let that yes. soak, okay? Because that's what helps hold the pressure in. Um, and is, this is a non-stick bowl. So you literally just take that out and put that right into the dishwasher and you're done. So this is super easy, and then I just wipe mine down, you know, but it's super easy to keep clean. The size means you can keep it on the countertop, which means you'll start using it more. For me, soups and stews are a big deal at this time of year, and if you know about cooking soups and stews, here's the thing. First day soup and stew, not the best. It's always like, okay, but it hasn't really like melded together yet. Second day stew <laughs> is the best stew in the world, right? Because now it's like sat and it, it's stewed in those uh, juices and it's marinated itself. Yum. You get second day in the first 15, this is about 15 to 30 minutes that you cook a stew yes. in here. And I did a Hungarian um, goulash in mine. <gasps> it was done in 30 minutes. The meat was just so tender. And the, the other thing that my husband was like, oh my gosh, the, the sauce. The stew was so good. Was so flavorful. I never could have gotten it like Carrie, that. Carrie, I on didn't the know stove. you throw down in the kitchen like that. She hasn't hung out with me enough yet, see? <laughs> see? I'm telling you. I keep telling her. Well, we're always on good eating together. I know. I and do. So, but, but that's always food that's already ready. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Right. So she doesn't know. I am a cooker cooker, but you know what? I, I, I get overwhelmed. I, I can get overwhelmed, and maybe you do too. Like, if I see something, I think, oh, I can't do that. And I kind of felt a little overwhelmed about pressure cooking for a long time. I kind of was like, I don't understand. Like, I can do this on the stove. Right. I yeah. can do this yeah. in the oven. But now I get it, because here's the deal. You're in infusing flavor. When you use liquid, pressure cooking means using liquid. So you always want to have liquid in every recipe that you do. And the liquid gets trapped inside because it's under pressure. And when a liquid is trapped, it turns into steam. And if that steam can't get out, because it can't get out, it's going to infuse right back into your food. And that is what creates that unbelievable flavor. That's what you were talking about, breaks down those uh, you know, tendons and ligaments and all that stuff in the, in the meat. So you don't even have to spend a lot of money on high, high quality meats, you can if you want, but you can use any type of meat, and even if it's a little like a tough meat, it will break it down in here, and it'll oh, make it super, oh, super, sure. super, super juicy. For sure. Look at that. Um, um. And I mean, you would never imagine. I mean, it looks so pretty. And it's so moist, by the way. Yes. We break into this. This is going to be the softest melt-in-your-mouth cake that you have ever had. And the reason is because it's virtually steamed. You're virtually steaming it. Yes. It's taking all that liquid and it's putting it right back into the cake. Never a dry cake again, I tell you. Well, if you'd like to get this at home, it's it's so perfect. Look at the size. I it's love It's great it. to sit on your stove or right on your countertop. By yeah. the way, it's electric, so you plug it in. Yep. It's not your grandmother's or great-grandmother's pressure cooker. Those were pots that they actually put onto a stove. That's right. This is an, an electric appliance. So no rattling, rolling with this <laughs> at all. No. Nope. You can see these are absolutely quiet. You set them under pressure. And again, I think that they're the first, they're a great first time pressure cooker. They're great for a smaller family or for mm -hmm. someone who's single, um, someone who really wants to experiment before they make that more expensive, more costly investment in a larger pressure cooker. And it's $15 on a major credit card plus shipping and tax to get it at home. Hardest part is what color so if you love red we have the red choice we also have black those are going to be like the basic core colors but if you're into kind of those fashion colors we have a rose gold we have a taupe and then we have a blue but i want you to know for sure that the blue is more of a purplish blue and i'll show it to you it's on the other side of curio show it to you in a couple of moments because i don't want you to get it home i said she said it was blue but it looks more purple <laughs> it's definitely kind of that perfect blend between a purple and a blue and there it is right there 
Oh you see it there? Gosh, there and it, it could be the lighting in our studio, um, but it really is um, just great. Yum. So this is the time of year I've already made pot roast a couple times. It's one of my favorite in things. A, in a third of the ta time, right? That's right. 66%, okay, is, is, is how much faster you... I mean, think about that, right? So you're moving faster. You're not tied up. My hands are free. I put all the ingredients in. I press the button. I let it do its job. This pot roast, you're talking about 45 minutes to 60 minutes. How long would a pot roast normally take you? Minimum hour and a half. But if you really want it to be tender, you're talking two, two and a half hours. Yeah. So you are really knocking down your your cooking time and you're getting plenty this is a huge bowl i have here and i have a whole bunch left inside the last i have is really my quickly they want me to go to the phone lines go to the phone okay lines. marcia is joining us hi marcia merry christmas how are you merry christmas marlo merry nice to have you show please say hi to carrie hi carrie hi, marcia have you, you tried this great job honey oh she do Thank doesn't you. she so have yes. you tried this um, pressure cooker marcia I have a two quart, a four quart, and an eight quart. Oh my gosh, so we need to come to your house and do the show for, <laughs> from you. Well, I'm retired now, so I do a lot of different cooking. I use the eight quart to do my stocks and things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also to make my dog food. There you go. We were I've talking about dog food. See, a lot of people do this. Already. Well, I've been making dog food for years now. Marsha, can you Facebook me? I have a Maltese at home. I'd love to do that on my days off. I have no idea how to do it. Well, honey, you're, you're going to have to call me because I don't, I don't do any of that computer stuff. Okay, so I'll figure out what your number is, okay? Oh, yeah, call me anytime. I'm always here. Oh, I'm you're so sweet. Now. You're so sweet. So what would you say about someone who's...